Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. Uh, I'm Tanver, how are you all doing today? And today we're going to discuss um, uh, can you, if you if you own uh, like a regular laptop, like a uh, laptop that you use for your work, for, for your like uh, school work or your like professional work, uh, or a laptop that doesn't have a, like a dedicated GPU chip built into it, and you're kind of like wondering, can I game in this? Then, then this video is for you. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 that I have, that I use for my schoolwork. And that exactly looked like this. Uh, and we're going to find out, see if I can game in this. Okay, so the first thing that you have to take note is like how much system memory that you have in your computer. Uh, so for my computer, I have like a 12 GB of system memory, and the second thing that you have to take note is like, uh, do do you have a, like an onboard GPU or or do you have an APU? So so the difference between onboard GPU onboard GPU is the built into your motherboard, and the APU is in your like a processor on your on your chip. So the the thing about the APU is like the APUs can't like share uh, system memory. Uh, so like for example like you saw that I have a, like about 12 GB of like system memory right here so and I'm only using like 50 percent of that so I have about um, available 5.6 gigabyte of memory available and this 5.6 gigabyte of memory is being used by my GPU see uh, it's kind of close to it Okay, so so whatever system memory that yeah, you have available, graphics card can share that. So the more system memory that you have, the graphics card will perform better. Okay, so and I would like suggest you to like try out the Xbox Game Pass uh, because uh, you know obviously with your just regular laptop, you are not going to be able to play you know like a. Uh, lots of demanding games. So, but Xbox Game Pass had lots of games uh, that are not like just like uh, not very demanding. That you know that might be your choice. Uh, and also use all uh, like a gaming controller for the optimal gaming experience. And the games that I tested for this uh, demonstration uh, was the first game I tested was like uh, called Super Lucky's Tale, and I was actually getting really good performance on that. You can see for the CPU, I was getting FPS, 60 FPS. Uh, CPU utilization was 16% uh, uh, and GPU was 75% uh, and RAM was 34%. So that, like I said, more RAM that you have, it's better. And the second game I was tested was the like Ori and the Blind Forest. And you can see I was getting around like 50 FPS. So this is still a uh, pleasant gaming experience. For, for like a, just a regular laptop like this, something like a, you know, $500. And this is where I had a hiccup, like Firewatch. So I was only getting, my GPU was utilized 100% and I was only getting like 7 FPS. So you can't, you can't actually play any kind of demanding game, so you can only kind of limit it to playing a less demanding game. So this is my final verdict. So you must have enough physical memory or RAM installed on your laptop, and you must have an APU or like a, a kind of GPU that shares system memory. And no AAA games like you know like Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone, that's a that's a no no. And the only game that you kind of play is like the older and less demanding games or, or like games that are like in the pixel art. So you know some people still like that. Okay, and that's it for me for today. Uh, if you like the video, then do like and share. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, okay.